you guys. Uh, it's Jason here from Boom Racing and today it's my very first time to do an unboxing video and I'm really happy to and I'm honored to do this unboxing video with our special guest who flew in from Guam Chronic, Albert Venezuela. Welcome. Thank you guys. I am so humbled and honored to be here. Man, imagine this is two years in the making guys and we are about to unbox the official products with this everybody's been waiting for the BRX01. The BRX01 right here. We right have a poster here. here. Yes, absolutely. Got a poster here. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this picture. Yes. Right here. Then we got your detailed pictures in the back. Yeah. It turned out pretty well, right? Oh yeah, it's awesome man. Absolutely. Yeah. I am so glad that I flew in and man, right here is the Right here's the package. Right here. All right. Wow, look at this, man. It's pretty heavy. It is. Right? There's, it's a good size. Yes, there's a, there's a body in here, the LC70 body, of course. And then, of course, right. we have the BRX01. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here we right. go. It. This is it, guys. All right. This is it, guys. Man. You know, I'm like a kid in a candy it's, store. It's every the time. first ever unboxing of the BRX01. Yes, official. Oh, wow. We got to unboxing. We got to show this. Yes, yes. Here we go, guys. We got to show it. There you go. There you oh, go. Yeah. So, should we take it, take it out? Okay, let's go. All right. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Yes. Look how nice this box is, guys. Everyone, check check out how nice. You have your wow. handle. Look at this, man. Quite heavy. It's quite heavy. I mean, yeah. man, it, it's beefy. So we. What do you think? What do you think about the quality of the box? The quality of the box, I man. It's so professional. You know, it's so nice. I like it. Look at look at that seal. So, they can't really tamper with that. Once we open the seal, you could it says see that. The, it's void. Yeah, that so, should be a void so sign. So once you peel off the label, the void sign shows up. So you cannot take the label off. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Look at this, man. Let's take a moment. Check out this box. How well packaged it is. Man. I think we should open it. Yeah, now. let's open Dude. it. I think they're waiting for it. Yes. Let me blade this. Wow. I'm actually gonna blade this. Yes. Here we go, guys. This is it. So, slowly. Okay. Okay. Let's show, let's, show, let's show our audience what's inside. Okay. So you got the BRX01 kit. Let me show them the packaging. Right? Check that out guys. This is how neatly Jason actually thought of this packaging. Look it's, at this. It's a very, very small packaging. Your whole car is actually here. So and, and we specifically designed it small so that everything is compact and tight and you save money on shipping. Absolutely, yes. And that's one of the things that, you know, most people that I meet tell me, hey man, shipping is also expensive when you buy a car online. And we ship a lot of things online, so when we made this product, one of the first things that we decided to do is make a really small packaging. Yes, it was put into consideration. I mean, you, you guys always give us good input and yeah, I mean, it's always about listening to the customer's yes. needs. And so besides, I mean, going into the car first, talking about the packaging, we listen to what you guys want. We make the packaging small so that everybody can save on some shipping. And it's compact, it's light. Nobody wants a big bulky yes. package. So we'll put this aside. We will open, we will show you guys what's inside in here. So next, of course, every VRX01. The pre-orders all get. Yeah. The rubber cone, 
the rubber yeah. cone. You get two of these. Actually, it's pretty cool. A uh, limited edition red color rubber cone. Yes. So these are super scale. So when you take your picture, put it on the side of your car, it's really awesome. Yeah, and they're one tenth scale. One tenth scale, right. and they have reflectors that you can put on the, mm -hmm. you know, if you go nitro, it actually shines up. And they're a bit different than you know the traditional three D printed yes. rubber. I mean the the, the traffic cones. They're you know rubber and. It feels like the real. It feels like the real thing, actually, yeah. the real traffic cones right. that you see on the road. Yeah. And then you you just slip that on in there, man. It's super scale. I really like it. Well, when we designed this, we tried to look at the same material. We yes. found a similar material and we made it up, you know, into the scale accessory. There you go. So you get two of those, and then of course you guys already know. All right, we can show that. This is wait the, hold on before you show that body. I think there's something that slipped in here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's also with the pre-order. If you order this VR X01 before January 1st, it will also come with a skid plate. A skid plate. This a actually yeah, skid yeah. Plate. This actually protect your uh, your uh, LC70. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it it will help it will help you also slide on the trails. I, I have it on my prototype. It's pretty right. awesome. I think people that has been testing it, yes. they all like this and think yes. it's very necessary. If you're not changing to an aftermarket bumper, so if you want to run your stock body without changing that bumper, this is yes. really important. And this will be available as an option. You know, you can buy. You it. can buy it. So absolutely, the first guys that actually pre-ordered the first batch. You will get this on right. your box. Right. It's, Only it's, if you order before January 1st. Yes. Yes. Okay. That is our gift to you guys. Alright. Alright. We move on to the body. You guys already know the, the LC70, the killer body. Okay. I'll hold the box. Okay. I'm going to put that aside. Okay. So, this is the other part of the package. The LC70, so it's a hard body. Everybody know what it is. I think we should move on. Everybody's excited to yeah. see. Yeah, I mean, right before you move on to the kit, yes. I just want to say that, as you can see, the BRX01 comes with the kit and mm -hmm. the body separately. Yes. So I've had, I've read online actually. Um, some people have asked us, are we selling just the kit by itself? As of now, we don't have plans for it. Yes. So if you really don't want this body, you well, I guess it. what you can you can sell it. Yes. Sure. Or you know you can or give it to your friend or donate it. Yes. Donate, you know, donate it to, to an event. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> donate it. Donate it to me so we can you know do something about it. But right. you know what, Jason is right. It's actually cheaper if you buy it as a set like this. Right. Because this body alone, it is one hundred and twenty bucks. Plus, mm -hmm. shipping. plus shipping, yeah. yeah, plus shipping. So it it, it does make sense. So let's put that guy aside. Okay. Let's let's see what's in here. This is right. So guys, check this out. This is what everyone wants to see. Yes, yes. And we've we're what three minutes into the video, and finally we're showing this. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about. I mean, I've seen, I've seen what's inside of it, and I know what this car can do. I think let's talk about the packaging. All right. Before anything else, I want to show them. Wait, this. so you've never seen this packaging, right? I've seen uh, uh, pictures of pictures it, of it, but okay. this is my first time actually. Man, look at this. Yeah. It's so well made. It's the packaging alone, you could tell Jason did not uh, left any stone unturned. And the amount of details, oh no way. L look at this, look at this guys. Four hobbyists by hobbyists, yep. right? And then, man, look at this. This is our favorite hashtag beginning of the future right but i just want to let you guys know the future is here future has come so like we always talk about you guys watch all the videos on what you can do there's so many things to talk about so what we are going to do is each and every one of this kit would come with your owners jason will elaborate more about this Okay, so all the VRX01 
comes with an owner's card right here. And here you will have your car number and the VIN number of your car. So each VIN number is obviously unique to your chassis. Yes. And the number on this card matches the number on your chassis. And the number is printed on this stainless steel piece which goes on top of the receiver, receiver box. box right? The waterproof receiver box. Right. So. so once you open the box, you'll see these two pieces inside a package. Wow, this is like it's like your own personal credit card, man. I'm so excited. So <laughs> have you told them what you could do with this card like Okay. Um, so um so first of all when you get this card you can go online to our website uh www.boomracingrc.com slash brx01 slash register yes. and register a vehicle. Put in your name um and then your email address and then the car number and the VIN number. And once you put that in, you are officially registered with yeah. us. So what happens is, uh, when you go to an event that we are participating, you bring this car with you and tell us what your um, car number is, and you will be eligible to get a special promotion from us. Every time, if we attend that event yes. and you are there and you have this car with you, you will get something from us. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Good idea, yeah? Yes. Wow, man. Who does that? I, I yeah. like this idea, man. You know, the thing is, this car is not cheap, yes. right? How much is 629 Absolutely. MSRP? Yes. And we want to make sure that we take care of the people that get this yeah. car. It's not just buying an item. Yeah. It's a continuation of basically taking care of our customers yeah. and um, it's not like, okay, I'll, I'll pay you $600 worth of a product and then see you later. Uh, yes, absolutely. It's like, it's like buying like a real car. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you take pride of owning one. And like we always say, man, it, it took a lot of thinking, a lot of, a lot of uh, ideas was put into this. Every little detail and you will see it. On. Yeah, and, and actually one of the reasons why, why we're doing that is we want to support the events. Yes. Because we want more people to go out to events. And a lot of people that buy RC cars, um, they might not actually go out to different events. Yes. But if they know that they can go to events, and wow, they can get something for free when they go out to events, then why not go out to events? And that increases the participation for you know the the entire industry. That's right. So it helps that's the right. hobby grow. So that's one of the ideas why we included that too. Okay. So once once you see that card, I see a sticker here, Jason. Okay. Let's talk about this. Yeah. What does There's it say? A sticker there. Wow! I never. It says first batch. You get a pre C and C knuckle and C hub upgrade. Okay, so this is only for the first batch. The first batch. The axles will be upgraded to CNC aluminum. Okay, so so you're probably thinking, so what's not what's included if it's not the first batch? It's uh, it's cast metal. Metal, yes. Yeah, it's a cast metal. Um, it's pretty strong, actually. That's what I have on my prototype, the one that we we've been testing. And then I put that through all kinds of terrain, and it was it is still holding on. It's yeah, the one on. that the one that we all tested are yes. all the cast metals. Yes. But for the for the first batch, we made it into a little bit more special. Yes, you get it. Everybody yeah. gets an upgraded CNC version. I was surprised by this. I didn't know you guys yeah. were gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like like we said, I have the prototype, and I I haven't had any issue with it. I'm sure a lot of people seen the videos and what type of punishment I put that BRX on yeah. to and, the, and, and, and yeah and those cast metals is actually we made it into a very beefy design so I don't you know we don't force yeah. any issues with those hey guys that's a bonus man yeah it's definitely unbelievable a bonus. so before we show them the whole thing, let's talk about the manual yes I got one with me here you go okay I got one with me so inside your, your box, you would see this manual, well thought of. It's not your regular paper stock manual. It's, it's actually thick. This is very thick. The, the paper is so nice. So 
Let, let's talk about let's talk about it a little bit. So, well, your version doesn't have yeah. a um, the sti sticker. Oh Look man! The sticker. <laughs> so you get your special BRX all one sticker, and then, right. wow, that is nice. Okay. That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's yours. There you go. Wow! Look at that. Enjoy being a badass. Right. So, anyways, let's let's show them the manual. Okay. So I think Jason uh, translated this uh, why why we made this car into how many languages? Eight that? languages. Eight, eight languages. So this is our. So mission. so the reason why we translated. Okay. So we translated how is the BRX01 different into yes. eight different languages. I was thinking. That we, if there's anything that we want people to understand, is the reason, you know, the idea behind building are up so long, yes. Yeah, creating this product, and and that's why we translated this into eight different languages. Yes. So once you open the manual, you'll see that it's in there. And then look, take a look at this. Look at this first page. Okay? Of course, they, it, it will show you the uh, equipment required. Here, your radio. Your lipo battery, your charger, you know the basic stuff. You got your ESC, and then of course your steering servo and your motor. But guys, it does come with a uh, ship servo. It's full metal and it's waterproof. So mm -hmm. you only need your steering servo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the, the ones that you need to make the BRX on run. I personally, what I have on my prototype that works really good for our terrain. And I haven't had any issue yet. Was uh, my setup is Hobby Wing 1080, and I'm using the Team Rappi 35 turn motor. It's plenty speed. Once you go in second gear, it's pretty quick. And I'm running 3S, so that's about it. And then it will tell you here what tools are required. Although these are in the picture, guys, this kit comes with its own tool set, which is that is true. Let me show you guys. That's right on this page comes with its own right here. So if you don't have those those uh, Allen wrench with the handle, you could absolutely build it with these two set. You got your cross wrench and then of course all your Allen wrench and your your crescent renders that's that's needed. So it's it comes with a basic tool set. So and I want to point out this also this is very important. So throughout the manual this is how well thought of this manual is right Throughout this manual, you would see this millimeter ruler just to guide you to speed up the, the assembly process. So throughout this manual, there is a bunch of this printed on the bottom of the page. So it will just guide you on screw sizes and especially your upper and lower link. Right. When you're assembling them, you would see this ruler. Right, so if you don't have a ruler, you don't it's need there. it. It's, yeah, there. it's there. And then the, the, the key legend. So, also throughout the manual you would see all of these signs and I will tell you guys how nicely done this is let me show you guys the parts reference I read this earlier man it was awesome check this out guys the included grease and your shock oil you see your sign that I showed you guys so if you see the sign you're gonna need a black graphite grease and that sign stands for your silicone grease and this screw with a uh, pad lock on it is your tread locker and of course your shock oil. So while you're at this point, I just want to point out that um, the, the axles, the transmission and the transfer case, they're all pre-built yes. and um, they are all filled with black grease. Yes. So once you receive it, it's already all greased up and yes. you don't really have to put any more yeah. grease in it. You don't have to do anything, you bolt it onto the Right, chest. and so on top of that, even though that everything is already greased up, you will still get a, a jar of black grease. Yes. And then a, we call it a silicone, a silicone grease. Silicone grease, and yes. thread lock and then the shock oil. And it's basically pretty much enough for you to cycle it at least once or twice. Yes. We so, will show it to you guys when we show you the, the content of this. So everything is right here. 
It's exactly how that drawing is. Man, look at look at this stuff. I, man, I love the smell from <laughs> new tires, man. You got your tires, you got your rims, and it's there. There they have letters, and it actually the manual tell you what's exactly on where that everything spot. is. Yes. Yeah, so it's dummy proof. It's dummy proof. Yeah. Anybody, if, if you don't have, but it's a, not. Yeah, a lot of experience building a car, right. a classic car. I'm pretty sure you can build this. Yeah, but yeah. but I don't think people will be like, oh, where are the axles? Oh, axles. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because they fall right into the correct slot. The oh, the reason why too the Boom Racing did this is they want to make sure that each and every BRX01 would have a complete part when you get it. Hopefully, you get it. Boom, everything is on its way. Yeah, everything stop. should be there. So, yeah, yeah, we can't. We can't say, oh man, it's missing an axle. Oh, it's, yeah. You can't. It's on the slot. It's all, all in there. So, anyways, let's move on to... It's, that's actually easy. Yeah. Just make sure all the holes are filled. Filled, exactly. <laughs> and then, before you close it and ship it, all the holes will be filled exactly. with, with an item. Right. right? So. Okay, that's well thought out. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Well, let's continue. I think I, there's there's a couple of things I want to show in the manual. One of the things is I want to show this page right here. I think this page is pretty badass. Yeah. So it says, dedicated to all of you who have helped us bring this awesome chassis from imagination into reality. Enjoy being a badass. And you see a map, the world and the little dots of all the people got involved that got involved in this, in this project. project yes As you can see many dots i would say there's yes. like 30 you dots. can't even see right there is my dot my guam, guam is covered right that dot completely <laughs> covered your, my your island. island yes yeah so we have men all the people that were giving input giving of course input. we listened to them yeah you know because the idea of this car is a lot of the ideas yes. from the customers and the and the drivers themselves yes. all put together into this chassis. It's by a hobbyist for the hobbyist. Exactly. Yes. So. And you see from North America, Central America, Wow, Europe, Asia, wow. Uh, Middle East, Middle East. I mean, we even have Malaysia and Malaysia, Brunei, Brunei in there, Brunei. all the way down to Sabah, Borneo. Wow, South man. Korea, Philippines, Thailand, Philippines. Our good friends from the Philippines, they also have so oh, much. We tried to name all the countries no. now because <laughs> yeah. we were going to have to yeah. name all of them. All of them. But anyway, it's, it's all over. Shout outs, basically. Yes. <laughs> right. It's all over the world, okay. man. I mean, we're very, very uh, fortunate and thankful that we have so much friends all over the world that keep giving their input. Absolutely. For yes. the last two years, we've been talking to so many people all around the world. So shout out to, you know who you are. Shout you out to know. you guys. Yeah, we traveled all over. And Thank you so much. And we'll, you guys will see more of us everywhere uh, this <laughs> yeah. year and next yes. year. That's the master plan this year <laughs> is to get to know more of you guys. Yep. Yep. Meet everyone and, and get to know you guys better. Also, I, I wanted to point out another thing on this on this manual. I I, I marked it. It's number twenty. Here we go. Twenty eight and twenty nine. So, guys, throughout the throughout the manual, you will see tips and tricks. Right. So, right. A really good example is how to set your ship servo, because. All radios are different. You must follow your manufacturer instruction on how to set up your EPA. There's a special uh, instruction on this manual on how to exactly do that. So that clears up. We don't want you burning out your ship servo. Yeah, because if yeah. you don't set up the ship servo correctly, it's quite easy to burn the burn, servo. Yes, you will burn it out. Yeah, so, so follow the instructions and you'll be okay. You'll be okay. And also another cool thing that was put in here you know to me it matters to me like you will see your FDR your final drive gear ratio right so everything you have a guide here on what do you want to achieve what kind of speed and what and in your first gear or your second gear mm -hmm. so it's all in here you actually have a chart because I was talking to Jason about it they were like hey man what do we do with the manual let's make the manual really unique and really nice work after you build the car, you actually don't throw away the manual because you're going to need some 
some There's guidance. There's information for you. Yes. And speaking of that, so once you finish building your chassis, uh, before you get on to building your body, there is a page right here. It's a picture of the LC70 on the side view and the top view for you to sketch the color scheme for you, <laughs> for you to color it and draw it and, and then give yourself some ideas oh, of how you want to build it. Oh, you know what? Give it to your kid. <laughs> it's a Hollywood book. You can you give know? it to your daughter. Yes, absolutely, man. I mean, dude, that is so cool. You know what I mean? You can actually, man, I would draw like flame jobs in there and then, you know. So, so, you, so, so you'll be building the car, you'll give this page to your daughter. Yes. Your daughter will hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. And then, the la last but not least, man, I mean, this is actually a really good manual. So, also, hey, Jason, the, it's uploaded, right? For the people that didn't. Yeah, so if you yeah. want to have this manual, if you want to see what the manual yes. is like, just go up to the website www.boomracingrc.com slash brx01. Go to the downloads tab and then you'll be able to download the manual. Yeah, the whole manual is actually the, I think it's in PDF form. Right? It's in PDF form, you can yes. print it out. You can print it out or just browse around right. if you want. Yeah, and there's then, a lot of good information yes. in it. Check and it out. Yeah, that's... that's it's You know, it's also it's our first complete manual of yes. a car so if you guys have any inputs so you know go yeah, ahead and let us know yeah leave us open. a comment in the se comment section below yeah. and we'll listen to you guys right. and the the last page would be your well we got your your optional skin plate right and then later on uh, this is the quick release the latch the latch right. for your front body I mean, it's coming out actually, I think, probably next week or, yeah, yeah that's an it's coming out. Yeah, you guys can buy this, but the, the kit do come with two, uh, two uh, screw to, to hold the body down, it, it's fine, you just need a 3.0 uh, Allen wrench to, to secure it, mm -hmm. it never fall off, but this is for like people like me with fat fingers, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just push the button and then it's... It's latches. very convenient. You yes. just gotta pull it, and then, and then your body can release. Yeah. And then when you put it back down, it snaps into place. Yeah. So it's super quick release. It makes the 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 lipo battery changes a lot faster. A lot faster. Yes. A lot more convenient when yes. you're on the trail. Yes. Exactly. And then the parts list. And then the parts list. Yeah, and I want to talk about the last page, which are the testimonials yes. from the guys that have tested the vehicle. Uh, for the last couple of months, so uh, we've been testing the vehicle for quite some time yes. now. So, wow, the the, the feedbacks that Amazing. came back have all yes. been really good, and we asked them to write down some testimonials so that other people can read it. Yeah, you can read yeah. it. Your name is in there. You know, these are true testimonials. Like when we went to Manila, they were giving us so many good input and man, we chose all the unique and the nice ones and we put them in here. Mm -hmm. We gave them a shout out, you got your name in there. In the country where in they're the country, from and then the club yes. that they run with. Yes, and it's really cool man. Nice. And, and oh, we forgot, just one, one last thing. These numbers here, the ones that are uh, on bold letter, that's actually part number, just in case you break apart. Mm -hmm. So on the manual, there's actual part numbers in them. So if you do break a part, you just take that part number and you can order it. You can actually yeah, and they're ordered. Um, the part numbers. Numbers. Yeah, the part numbers are ordered by alphanumeric order. Yes. So yeah. you'll be able to find the part number very, 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 very easy. Yes. All the parts are all every single part is available separately. There you go. Yep, so I think, man, these okay. guys really want to see the actual part. I think we're, we were pretty thorough with the manual. With the manual, yeah. Okay. I, I like it. I mean, you know, this is yeah. one manual you don't throw away after you build the car. Mm. Because you have your notes and everything that you would put in there. I was actually really happy when I first saw the manual. Yeah, man, it's so nice. It feels nice. It's so professional, mm -hmm. you know. Everything you need is in there. So, here we go, man. Alright, let's, let's do it. Where this do you want to start? I mean, I mean, where would you start as? I would, I mean, this, I would this, start. This is your kit. 
So man, I would start with with the rims actually. Okay. I'm super excited. Let me hold it up so they can see it too. So all four rims are in here. Look, okay. look at this, man. It's got its own space. You guys, for those of you guys that didn't know, it does come with the the, the 16 hole B lock. This is 1.55, and then you have your um your hex adapter, and they're reversible. Yeah, they they are reversible. So if you want if you want to have that dip dish look, you just take that adapter and put it on this side. I have a dip dish look, right? Mm -hmm. So also, to make it super scale, of course, you guys already know it comes that. with a scale hub. Yeah, a scale hub, front mm -hmm. and rear. Mm -hmm. That's very nice, man. I mean, the weight on this, it's... It's, it's a beat lock, yeah. it's a steel. It's beefy. Yeah. Feels really good, man. Yeah. Feels really good and it, it does look like your Toyota room, kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. it's super Gives scale. you that stock look. Yeah, the sure. stock look. Yeah. Your daily driver look. Okay, what's in the corner? What is in this corner, <laughs> man? It's like, is that candy or what, man? What's in that package? Wow, here it is, guys. Okay. I want to open this for you guys. So, this is included on your kit. You don't have to worry about your shift servo. You just gotta yeah. get your steering servo. This is all metal gear. Really nice it's, it's, and mini servo. It's waterproof. It's fully waterproof. It's fully waterproof. JX servo. Yes. Um, all metal gears. All metal. And then this is what I love about this. Look at how long. <laughs> a lot of times, like when we discuss about, hey, what what can we do with the servo? With the uh, well, a lot of people use um, extension. Right. You know what? We gave you guys. You don't have to use the extension. No, this, one. this is super long. It's yeah. long enough it's to long get enough to get to the, to the receiver, receiver box. Right. So that's one thing that. Okay. So awesome about this. And then, what is this? There is actual two extension lead. This this you should you use this on your on your ESE or your your steering. Yeah, we Server. provide it to it's so provided. you, you don't, don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it, and yes. if you need it, it's there. It's there. If yeah, you don't then fine. It's all about convenience. Convenience and man, look at that. So that's what's on the corner. I, I mean, the reason why is because some you know some people build you know put things in different places. That's true. So you I might agree. need that. Yeah, you might need that and. A lot of people are like you, they're OCD, they don't want to show the wires. So, you know, they kind of want to reroute. Sometimes they reroute the servo and if you need it, it's here. You have two. So that's what's on that corner. While we're talking about OCD, let's talk about that piece. Which one there? This one right Oh there. yeah, that's right. I was, I was so happy when I saw this. Check this out, guys. Okay. That is yes. a cable retainer yes. set. So it comes with 18 pieces and you can... Um, Let me take one out. So what it does is, throughout your chassis, you can hold the wire in place so it doesn't get snagged when you're trailing or simply with all the moving parts you're, you know, that's how intricate this kit is even this are included on your kit so right. you have a bunch of these and it, it will hold your wires nice and tight and yeah then, it know, comes in three lengths yes yeah wow three different lengths i love it man i love short it. medium and long i love it so there you go another another one of those you know new things new things uh car. and you know Stones that were never left unturned up to this kind of details. So that and let's move on to this guy. We need to talk about this guy. This the is receiver box. your receiver box. I think your fingers are too fat. They are man, that's why we need that. Uh, wow. Look at that. It's packed. Everything yeah, it's is packed really, packed really nice. Look at that. That's your body, uh, front body mount. Your front body mount. This goes to your LC70 body and it clicks onto mm -hmm. your chassis. And the rear body mount. The rear body mount. 
there's four holes in here that goes on the bed. Right. It lines up on your LC70 right. bed. And then let's talk about the, the receiver box. Okay. Check this out, guys. Fully waterproof. Silicone all the way around. Yeah, so when you receive it, make sure you open it up because there's something inside. Yes, inside it. This is where your servo wires, your cables actually go through. Yeah, your here. wires will go through in this in opening. Yes, and then it goes right here. See that? Boom. So they go through here. And then remember your bin number? Right. That stainless steel uh, bin number will hold this in place. Right. And then what I do with mine is I put either um, liquid tape or silicone grease to yeah. keep it. Which is already water. included in this. Yeah, it's in here. Yeah. So put a little bit where the openings are. Put yeah, a little fill bit, it up. Fill it up with silicone yeah. grease and then put your receiver and boom. And then that one little detail we were talking about. A lot of a lot of uh, people would think, oh man, it's just a receiver box. So, well, well, some receiver box they have what we call self-tapping screw. This receiver box actually have a metal embedded. A brass insert embedded a brass, into the plastic. A brass insert. So you can embedded. torque the screw in yes. really tightly without yes. ever breaking it. The reason why for that, we wanted you guys to have a super sealed receiver yeah, box. Yeah, so you can torque yeah. the stainless steel piece in, into the receiver box tightly. Yes. So without it getting crossed without any uh, gaps in it. Yes. There you go, man. And yep. then and then you guys already know this is your your latch for your body. Right. That's how the body is. Wow, that is neat, All right. man. Look at that. You can put it back later. I can, but I don't want to lose any part. Well, anyways, <laughs> let's do the tires. We'll go this way. Okay. Yeah? Go ahead. Let's do the tires. Yeah. You guys seen this before? These are the 155, 155 uh, SP, SP road, road tracker, tracker with yeah. the uh, your insert. open cell inserts, open cell single insert. stage. You guys have seen it probably. It's super been out, scale. Yeah, you, it's been out for a couple of months yes, already. Super scale. I, I love using them, man. A lot of people, wow, you know, they're super soft, man. They're so sticky. They're so sticky. Very right sticky now. and shiny. They're shiny, super sticky. Man, I, I love these tires. You're gonna have so much fun with this kit. Look at that. It's, it's, yeah, done. I'm, I, I'm halfway done, it. Jason. I love it. I'm halfway done. I already built one tire. <laughs> look, look at that, man. Wow, it's so sticky. You can really hear how sticky that thing is. Yep. Wow. All it's right. underneath well, well, that let's thing. Let's take out all these yeah, tires. Yeah, let's take out all these tires. And let's see what's let's underneath see. that. Is, is the angle okay? Yeah. Yes, good. All right. Wow. Basically, you have your uh, servo steering. Um, They're all numbered. They're all numbered. All right. So just follow the manual instruction. Follow the manual, the manual, and you won't get lost. You got your. These are your hardwares, your screws. Mm -hmm. Put it together. They're all individually packaged. And right here are your tools. Tool set. Open your it. Tool set. I want to open this. Check one. out. Check out that. This crossroads, man. Yeah. I'm so intrigued by this. So of course you have all of your, all of your yeah, set uh, screw, your Allen wrench, and then there's the set screw for your cross wrench. Check that out. Please. Is it roll? Yeah. Anyways, we have this yep. cross wrench tool. We got your for your tires, and then that's your, seven seven, seven mil seven mil and, and five point five five point five right. for your uh, your little lock nuts. Right. And then you got like we said earlier, if you don't it's have those handle wrench. yeah your handle wrenches, then you could actually build it with yeah, these. With these. Okay. Yeah, it's no problem. Put it back. That's everything in there and I think this is the uh, battery tray. No. Battery tray. Yeah, I, I, I love this. This is the battery tray. You can also put uh, what I did on mine, my prototype, I put my ESC okay. on the side and it's out of the way. It okay. clears it. 
and then your battery here, you put your, your boom what do you think? What do you think about the quality of it? Man, it's so awesome. I, I love Everything's it. Everything's awesome too. Yeah, of course. Look, look at this, man. Look at this quality. I mean, it's not your flimsy battery train. <laughs> look, your boom racing strap that goes in there to okay. hold the battery in place. Right. Yeah, some guys said, oh, they might be too long, let's cut them, but I like it because sometimes I use a bigger milliamp battery than right. it might require longer. But they're there. They're actually included. Okay. In kit, so. Do you want to open these uh, little package packages so we show them what's inside? Yes. Number nine. This is your accessories. Check it out. Inside this is your 32 pitch spinning gear. How many tooth is this? Uh, that's twin. Uh, that's 12 tooth. 12 tooth pinion. Yes. Yes. So this transmission accepts anything from 9 till 16. Yes. You can actually go up till I think 21. Yes. It was on that one page. Yeah, it was on that one page we talked about. Yeah. So whatever ratio you might want it's all in there on that exactly. table it says 9 to 16 yes but you can actually go a little bit higher even up to 20 i think that is so unique so you got that and then you have your uh, inside that number nine do you have your this is your ship servo okay yeah and then it comes Horn. with an aluminum, an aluminum low profile long low profile 25 tooth servo horn so uh we figured you know we don't want to come you know nobody wants the plastic ones anyway yes. so we include most it. people use 25 yes so might as well include it's one included. yes yeah. this is I, I really like this so yeah if you don't have a 25 spline servo unfortunately you're gonna have to get to one get one yeah but that is the most we figure that that is the yeah. most common um, and nowadays most people have a 25. 25 yes a lot of the standard servo comes yeah. with 25 Okay, and then what's inside the other bags? Okay, let's open this. So inside this bag has number one, number two. Oh, well, it has names on it too. Yes. So number one says chassis. Chassis. So these are the the hardware that you would use to. Build your all chassis. Screws. Yes, yeah. build your chassis. And then gearbox and transfer case. Wow. They're all individually packaged. Yes. So you won't really have to spend a lot of time, yes. you know, finding figuring it out which yeah. one's for your chassis, right. which one for your gearbox. Mm -hmm. Right. So links and more. shocks. Links and shocks, number three. For your servo, number four. Wow, that is pretty cool. Number five, yes. fine-tuned spacers. So do you want to explain what fine-tuned spacers are included for? So sometimes, um, for your axles, you're going to have to fine-tune a little bit with the input shaft and then also the bevel gear. Yes. Or in your transfer case and your transmission, you might have to fine-tune a little bit. Yes. So we provided the shims, the shims yeah. and spacers. Just to get rid of that little slack. Yeah, so you will little. need that. I mean, everybody who builds yes. RC car know that spacers are really important. Yes. So we included it's these. Included for you as, as an extra not option. only that even though if it's let's say it's built perfectly and you didn't use this keep these guys because along the way wear and tear yeah you're gonna need this later yeah, on. yeah put them in your trail survival, trail survival kit. kit yeah absolutely that's that's what the blank space for <laughs> is for the shim so anyways it is included thank you boom racing we've been looking for for kits that would give us everything we need yeah so even after you play with it and it's all worn out you could actually shim your gears no yep. that's very important i, I love that man. number it's six five. for your receiver box receiver box okay number seven is body mount yes and then number eight for your wheels and what does it come with it comes with i hope it's not plastic no your it's head's not oh wow look, 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 look at this look, guys look at that design this is awesome. Look, look at that. You have your wow. Look, look at how nice these these are aluminum. Aluminum right? and the design is slightly different. It's slightly different. Yeah, it's, it's got a three mil offset. Three right? mil offset, and then that I love that little set screw. There's a set screw in there. Yeah. Because one thing you hate when you're on the trail is 
you remove your tire and then this thing falls off. Yeah, it happens to a lot of people. Yes, and then your pin falls off. Yeah. This one, once you use that set tire, you can remove that set screw in there. It will hold this in place. So as soon as you remove your tire, this stays. Yeah, it's a must-have for it's a must -have. hexes. Yes. Well thought out, dude. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Thank you for this. Yeah, hey, you got it. Man, that is yeah, awesome. So remember, it. guys, don't just be opening all of these packaging blindly because they are named your the number and what step are you are going to use it. Yes. With. So there you go. That's another. Yep. That's another. Just follow the manual. It's clearly stated. Yes. It's clearly stated on the manual which package to use. Okay. Let's move on to the next item. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Would you like to explain what you're holding? Wow. Your drive shaft, guys. Super badass. They're not plastic. Like we said, there are zero plastic moving parts on this kit. There is one. Which one? The spur gear. Exactly, but you know, that's a solid spur gear, but check this out. What I'm talking about is what touches the terrain. Uh -huh. This is it. You have full metal. Scale, scale full metal steel, steel drive, shafts. drive shaft included mm -hmm. on the kit. Super scale. And also, comes with a spacer. If you want to remove that slack when you right. assemble it, it's the, the, there's there. Yeah, and these are also rebuildable. Rebuildable. So there's a rebuild kit available yes. for them. It's already available, guys. And the part number is inside the manual. Wow. Okay. That is Next. nice. We got your link. Right. Really beefy, man. Look, look at that. I want to I wanna open this. Look how nice that is. 7 mil aluminum links. And uh, what about? Yeah, you got your your turn buckles, your steering links, your steering links. So the steering links are stainless steel. Yes. And they are counter threaded, so you can adjust the you know the length of your steering links pretty fairly quickly yes. and uh, convenient. And look how beefy this even this man is so beefy. So your included tool. You can use that to you adjust. You can use the wrench that's to, included yes. to adjust the length of it once you install it on the car. Yes. You don't have to take it off anymore. That's right. That's right. Man, that's really good. I like that. So the, uh, the, the drag link uh, and the pan, uh, pan heart rod, uh, these two are the stainless steel links. And then the rest... Oh, the tie rod is also a stainless, stainless steel, steel link, which is right there. And then the rest are aluminum links. So mine is set up like behind the axle, right. you know, and it's so scaled because when you take picture, you don't see this. It's right. actually behind the axle, guys. So you guys have that option. But here it is. It, it's super beefy. I don't think you can bend this. This is awesome, man. We forgot to tell them about the warranty, the one year warranty, right, on the on the car. Yeah, I mean, on, so it's on the manual. It's on the manual. Yeah. Um, the car comes with a one year limited factory warranty yes. so if there's any issues when you receive it if anything's not made correctly you can let us know we yes. will replace it to you free of charge so that's that's the warranty that you get when you get this car we make sure yes. everything you get is perfect it's really easy guys i mean you guys i i know what you guys do you guys always tag me and i usually answer and then you know we'll take a look at it and Boom Racing, Asia T has been really good on, on their warranty and I, I love that man. So there you go, you have that, the drive shaft. Okay, and, and what, what else is inside? Inside this same package, uh, that's your shock springs. springs. Okay. It's, that's a uh, different uh, rate, right? Right. Yeah, right. you have your, this is... That's an optional softer yeah, rate. For, for tuning, if you want to build it lighter, let's say right. lighter on you decided to use a Lexan body, then, you know, right. you have that option. Mm -hmm. That, it, it comes with two of that, of course. Mm -hmm. And, double stick tape, mm -hmm. your receiver, and whatnot. Let's talk about these. All right. I'll give you one. Okay. Your chassis. 
let them know what it's made out of. So this is aluminum, billet aluminum, 7 mil chassis. Let's have a look at it. Super thick, man. Look how beefy this thing yeah, is. Yeah, it's very beefy. Yeah. So um, a lot of the guys asked me about the design of it. And then one guy said, hey, man, how did you do your, your lip spring? It's right here. If you, if you could see that it's not. So all you have to do is buy one of the thin wrappy leaf spring and it would sit here. Those holes actually lined up. It's super easy to make the rear leaf spring. And you got your hangers here. Yeah. I did it on my prototype. I mean, if you do want to change it, change convert it, it to yes. leaf spring, there is an option in the future yes. that will come out. Um, so these are seven mil. And if you look at it, these are slanted in, yes. inwards. That they will give you a better steering angle without touching yeah, because this BRX01 comes with narrow axles, yes. and with a narrow axle, you're gonna have to, you're gonna always run into a steering issue. Yes. So what we did is uh, the the rails are indented so that you can move the shocks inside. So when you turn the car, the wheels don't actually touch. Rub the yeah, don't chassis. rub the chassis or the shocks. Remember the steering angle on this kit, guys. It, it's crazy it's about what it's over. uh behind the axle setup it's 45 degrees 45 and if degree. you actually put it in front if you have your steering setup in front it's over 50 degrees wow that's all the turn you need actually uh, wow yeah 45 so, degrees actually good enough yeah it's good it's, it's, a, lot. Scale it's a lot um also in right here in front you have your front shock tower setup how how many uh, front shock positions? I believe there is 54. 52. 52. So Guys, 52 so front shock position option on this car. Right, block. so there's 52 uh, positions you can set up yes. your front shock. So imagine for the people that are out there that are doing your custom build, now you have so many ways to play around and you know choose whatever body you, you might want to use. With that means that much right. position, you can you can create a super scale looking rig. Right, and if you look rig. right here, there are three holes right underneath the chassis in front. Those are your pan heart yes. options. So there's three positions just on the, the left side. I think you have the left side. So you can set up your pan heart to your left side or to your right, right side. side. Yes. So it's either fully or. adjustable. It's either or, yeah. Also, that 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 will give you like like what he said the, the option and you know it, it just so nice that you can do whatever you want with this and uh, a lot of the holes here in in the rear shop for the rear shop tower setup uh, lots of different I think I believe there's twelve yes and um, a lot of these holes are set up so that you can use the existing parts for example cc han has a um, skip plate a side fender yes. you can use that on this chassis rail so a lot of these positions are standardized yes um, so a lot of the optional option parts available on the market today you can use it on this chassis rail absolutely not only that even some bodies they mount on the side you know and i, I you can use that to screw on your body Absolutely. Yeah, so you uh, tons of adjustments available for this chassis. Man, I love this. This is so nice. This it's is definitely the highlight. Yes, of, the highlight. One of the highlight of one, this chassis. Just okay. one of the highlight because there's so many nice things about it. And man, of course you got your pre-built shocks. Um, like we said, you got your option. Choose, you can mix and match if you want to just change the top with the softer right. one you can, it's linear. These are aluminum shocks, uh, double spring. Uh, these are, uh, I mean they're pre-built so you just fill in your uh, shock, shock oil, oil and then you're good to go. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. These are 80 mil. 80 mil. Yeah. Wow. Moving on. Moving on. Moving, let's, let's go to that Last side. This guy. Yeah. Skid plate. The skid plate. This is a low profile aluminum skid plate. Um, well, your transport case goes in there. Yeah. We'll get to that. That's got another good feature to mm -hmm. it. So, 
Really good, sturdy. Aluminum. Yeah. It's beefy design. Yeah. Your uh, rod ends actually all hide inside. So when you when you go over rocks, your um, your rod ends are not exposed. They're inside the skid plate. There you go. Then it's right underneath that is your. Let's talk about these, man. Now, what are those? Okay, okay. Shock, shock towers, towers guys. Look at that. Shock towers. Shock towers. You, you have all these adjustment holes. Yeah, in there's the 13 deal. holes in there. There's 13 holes and in there. And then they're reversible. Yes. So when you reverse it, you get another 13 holes in different positions. And also your this steering servo. This is servo. a steering servo mount. Yeah. Aluminum steering servo mount. Got all those holes in there. CNC. Um, yeah, it's adjustable so you can move your servo in different you know, positions. I believe this is your transmission. Uh, That's the transmission yeah, mount. The transmission mount. So they're all CNC. So they're all in this box, and your. This is the steering servo mount. I'm uh, sorry, no, the, the, the shift, shift servo, servo mount. The shift servo mount. Yeah. So they're all. That's that's it. You have all your. So this on this, on this um. Bad so mounts. A lot of the yeah, mounts. Yeah, it's all the It's all the mount that is. Right. Needed to build. Your transmission and right, the aluminum parts. parts. The aluminum parts are all in there, so okay. they're underneath that guy. Right. And then let's 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 check out these grease, okay. man, because this is one thing people love to to look at is you got your thirty weight included uh, shock oil. Yeah. Your thirty weight bag. It should be enough to recycle them uh, twice. Yeah, okay. So, so fill it in once, you yep. can recycle it. Don't throw it away, time. guys. Don't throw it away. You have inside, right underneath that, you got your black graphite grease. Right. And black graphite grease, you use it for all your gears. Yep. All your yeah. gears. All your gears, put some in it. And then your silicone grease. Silicone grease. We call it the silicon grease. Yeah. And then you can put this. Uh, in any of the moving parts, your drive shafts, your C, uh, your universal shafts, and then you can also use this grease to seal off any parts where you want to wa waterproof. Uh, for example, you want to put this um, inside that receiver box that silicone seal. So fill it, fill those gap with this uh, grease. Also, a lot of the kits that check this guy out. Man, let me press that down. Very important, guys. It's included your thread locker, so you don't have to go in your hardware store. Hey, man, I need to go get some thread lock. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's included on your kit. So don't forget, it's right on that hole, right above the uh, the grease. So this set right here. Once you finish building your car, um, you will still have this set right here for you to continue to use. Yes. So once you finish building this car, it's not like you're done. You still have some leftovers like we went through. We, we talked about the yes. fine-tuned spacers. You can keep those. keep those. And then you can also keep these. Yes. If you have other cars, obviously you can use these, these yeah. Yeah, for that. Yeah, a lot of the kit cars actually don't come with thread lock. And there you go. Right, right. and you have enough for future yeah, use. It's a lot. It's a lot of thread lock. I think that's really generous. Yeah, amount. so it's maintenance. I mean, it's all yeah. about maintaining your car so that your car can run for a long time. Yes. And then, I mean, I want to do this guy. Okay, let's talk about that one. You know what? Everybody see, case. Yeah, everybody see what these are. The narrow axles. Yeah. Okay, let's you talk about talk. this okay. guy. The, the anti-torque twist, counter-rotation, transfer case with the selective rotational drive. Selective rotational drive. And what does selective rotational drive mean? Is that you can choose mm -hmm. which uh, output shaft to run because they spin in opposite direction. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. these two shafts right here spin in opposite, opposite direction. direction. So you either choose the counter rotation or the normal rotation. Your traditional so, build, yes. Right, but you know, with this setup, we use obviously, obviously the counter rotation yes. because it has all the advantages. Um, 
anti-torque twist. So man, it's really good. So I, what I noticed too is when I apply pull power, the car does not lean left or right when, when using the anti-torque twist. Mm -hmm. okay, so it is included. So it drives more scale when it doesn't lean. Yes. And also it's way more predictable when you, you know, throttle your truck when it's not leaning yes. on one side. A lot more stable too, guys, when you're trailing on a side hill trail. Absolutely. Does not have that, you know. One, one, the, the major thing I noticed with the anti torque twist is that when you accelerate, the car is so stable yes. and you can accelerate in a straight line. Yes. And this is something that I think will be uh, the, the trend in the coming, you know, years. For RC crawling is, you know, the the anti torque twist will be uh, the, standard for, the standard for RC crawling. Like Sir Padim said, torque, torque twist, twist is, is a thing of the past. Of the past. Shout right. out to you. There you go. <laughs> and next one, the heart of the Man, VRX one. one. The transmission case. There's so yeah. many so many features about yes. this transmission case number one is I, I would say how small it is this is a very small two-speed transmission case um, it has a reversed gear spur gear and all the gears are cut gears in this metal cut steel gears in this car all the gears inside except for the spur, the spur gear gear is a plastic composite gear um, but they are so strong. It's I don't think anybody strong. has ever had any issue yeah. with... What was that motor that you use on yours, that brushless motor? Well, we tested this transmission with a 6,900 yes. kV like a motor. Um, it's, it's, it's something that we don't think people will be using yes. for their crawler, but you know, for testing reasons, we used it and it was fine. It no was problem fine. at all. Yeah. And um, one thing I can add is, when it's put together and your car is running, it's whisper quiet. Mm, yeah. It's so yeah. silent, like it's you can't really hear it. You know, it, it's well thought of and and this is pre-built for everybody. Yes, uh, it's factory pre-built. Try, I mean, you haven't really turned this, so try it. See what you think. Whether it's smooth or what's yeah, it, it's really it's really smooth. You can you can really see the. Even on your, wow, even on your second gear, your first gear and your second gear. It's all greased. Greased. Wow, that is really smooth. So you're, you know, you're getting a very high quality transmission out of this box. Yes, and it's well built. The, the quality of it, guys, I mean, this video probably will not do justice. Yeah, you're going to really have to see one in see person it, to hold know. it. And to it's hard to yeah, show you guys appreciate its quality. Yeah, it's hard you to show to it through it. the camera. I think. Yeah, you have to um, really hold it. And, and and for yeah. us, you know, one of the most difficult things for us to build this BRX01 is actually this piece right here. Yes. It takes us the most time uh, to build each of these transmission. But what we what we did is we made sure it's smooth, smooth, everything um, functioning correctly, is perfectly made. Uh, so you guys will enjoy this car. Look this how is small hard. this is. You know, it, it's like it's in my hand. This is the whole transmission. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm holding and it. And one of the, the great advantages of having a tra small transmission is the interior. Yes. And uh, nowadays it's all about, you know, scale trucks. Yes. And you with a small transmission, you can do so many things with interiors. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There you go. We got that. And, and what is in here? Okay, what is in here? Let me see. This little, little slot. slot. Don't forget about this little slot. Yeah. It's there's this a small hole really right here. Important. Yep. I'm gonna have Jason explain this. This is your motor so mount. yeah. This is a motor mount, aluminum CNC motor mount. It's two pieces, and um, well, you just have to line up. So so when you install your motor. Right, yes. you don't really see where your motor is, so we made a guide right here. There's nine to sixteen tooth. So depending on what uh, size of the the pinion you put in your motor, 
you can use this guide to adjust. So that's a gear mess. It's a gear mess guide. To up to to adjust it up and down so that you have the perfect gear mesh. Gear mesh, yes. Right. It's so simple. I I I changed my pinion gear and I've tried it myself. All you have to do is loosen the the four, four screw. screws on the side and then, and then you line can up the it. two. Then you line yeah. up the two of your pinion gear. So and we are only showing nine to sixteen, but you you can go up to like I said earlier. I think it's 20 or 21, I have to make sure. Um, but with the guide, it's pretty, you know, yeah. it's perfect. Yeah. So you don't have to do the guess. So I did, I did test it with the included pinion gear. Okay. And like I said, 35 thermal on a second gear. Man, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty quick. But that's really good. You usually we use a piece of paper to, to do the gear mess. Not with this guy. Mm -hmm. This is another innovation that we wanted to point out. You just slide it and then you would always have a perfect gear mess right. with that system. Okay. And then our... The axles. The axles, man. The BRX70 axles. BRX70 axles. Guys, remember a lot of these, the BRX70 came out before these guys yeah, so they it, are already out there they are already out there and it came with the red pumpkin yes and then the red again we listen to them right they they wanted they wanted the black one the black one there you go but right. it's it is a brx 70 with the black pumpkin, pumpkin. For the, especially made for your brx only. right and there's a little bit changes on this uh versus the brx 70 axle that we saw in uh individually it comes with a lee spring channel Yes. So you can immediately use this piece for leaf springs. Yes. So you can convert, you know, this axle into a leaf spring setup. It's ready for that. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, if you want to know more about this axle, you know, there's tons of information online or on our website. Yes. Yeah. Comes with your four link. Um, yeah. It's got all tool. these plastics so that we, you know, we protect everything. Yeah. For your so it's all protected. Purposes. Yes. Yeah. Again, guys, this this video will probably not do justice. You have to be able to hold it yourself, you know. And, and it's factory pre-built. Yes. And try it's spinning so it. It's so smooth, man. Again, what's what's when we do this? That means I'm on a fully locked position, on mm -hmm. on on steering. Look how easily I can still spin it, guys. Like, you know, right there. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. I'm spinning it right now. Wow, so that's that steering angle we are talking about. Look, that's you probably, this is way yeah, too you much. Won't, you won't use that you much steering angle. You won't use this much or else you'll be rubbing, you know, you'll be rubbing uh, your chassis or something. But this is it, guys. It's so, it's so nice. It's well built. The material really good, man. And heavy too. Very and heavy. Again, you guys, these are pre-built. So... It, it speeds up the, the assembly oh, process, yeah. yeah. So you guys can play right away. Same thing with the, this is the rear, the rear axle. Same thing, you got your, your yep. fully built rear axle, axle and your, your shock mount. All right, so anyways, those holes lines up on your leaf spring. Just to let you guys know if you take this guy out, you put your lip spring in there. Yeah. Those holes on your team wrap your lip spring. So they are set yeah. up four link. We obviously like four link better than yes. leaf spring. We talked a lot about leaf springs yes. because from what we read online, a lot of people that uh, play with scale trucks yes. like to run leaf spring. Leaf spring. But however, the reason why we did not release this with the leaf spring is because it, it's an option. Yes. We were coming out with a leaf spring option. Uh, very soon, in about a month or a month and a half, I would say in around March, the lead spring option will come out for the rear. Uh, but the four link, I mean, sorry, the three link setup is has a really good performance advantage. Yes. So that that being said, like we said, guys, you you're gonna play with this car for a very long time because because of all of that option, you know what I mean stuff that you can change around the car and the fact that it's already provided all the holes lined up 
You know, you don't have to drill your own holes. You don't have to. You don't have to do a lot of modification to actually achieve the, the way kind that of you, look, the yeah. scale look that you want. You right. Know? Because a lot of people like to leap spring the back. Yeah, I mean, so this yeah. chassis you can personalize. Yes. Make it your own. You want. Make it your own. Make it your own. So we created this platform so that you can really yes. customize it. Yes. And do whatever you want with it. Oh yeah. By the way, it's if you see this again one more time for it's on the it's this in the back behind the axle. Your your steering link would be on on the back of your axle. So when you take picture, you don't see it on the front. Right. So yeah, man. I mean, make it your own. We we're kind of excited on what you guys are going to do with this kit. As soon as you receive it, build it. Please share some pictures. Yeah, we can't wait. We till, can't wait. You know, we see you guys yes. build this truck, and we can't wait to see some videos of what you guys do to it. Show us some videos. Send us a message. Post it online. Yes. Share it. And like, if you guys have something to add, you know, like your comments or your suggestion, we're, we're open. We yeah. want to see. We're really excited for you guys to get. You guys just don't know how much Jason was pushing the shipment so we can get these kits to you guys. And we want to see what you guys do to it, man. Thank you. Well, once again, I just want to say yes. thank you to Chronic Albert for flying in just to do this unboxing video. You know, he flew five hours from Guam to Hong Kong to do this unboxing video. We hope you like it. Uh, it's, it's our first time doing an, yes. an unboxing video together. It's actually my first time doing an unboxing video, so I'm super excited. I've always wanted to do one. Um, I know I definitely have a lot of room for improvement, <laughs> uh, but I'm really happy that I got to do my first unboxing video. Hell yeah. You. Man, I am so happy. Man. I'm so honored, man. This is... Exciting again guys, we would like to thank you on behalf of Asia Thieves and Boom Racing man. Enjoy the car and show us please what are you gonna do with it? Suggestion, comment, man. We thank you guys. All your inputs are squeezed into this car. So we wanna see what are you guys gonna do with this. Alright. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys again really yes. soon. Alright, see you guys later.